In this video, we'll be finding limits. To find the limit as x approaches some constant c of f of x, first, if possible, evaluate f of c using direct substitution. If f of c is some indeterminate form, such as division by 0, which is undefined, or if you get infinity over infinity, etc., Try to eliminate the problem algebraically, or use a graph or table to estimate the limit. For example, if we were asked to find the limit of 3 as x approaches 6. Now there's no x visible in this function, but we can force it by writing this as x to the 0 power. So if we write this as multiplying that by x to the 0 power, which we know is 1, then what we're actually finding is the limit as x approaches 6 of 3 times 6 to the 0 power. Now 6 to the 0 power is 1. So this is equal to 3 times 1, which is 3. Another example. Again, let's force x to make an appearance. So multiply this by x to the 0 power. So this would be 4 times pi to the 0 power since x is approaching pi. Now anything to the 0 power is 1, so this is equal to 4 times 1, which is 4. Another example, here we have our x visible, so we're just going to use direct substitution. We'll put negative 4 in in place of x, so the answer is negative 4. And again, since x is approaching 1, if we put 1 in for x, we get 2 in the denominator, so there's no problem here. So we can work this with direct substitution. We'll put 1 in for x, so we have 1 squared plus 1 plus 2 divided by 1 plus 1. This is equal to 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 2 is 4, over 1 plus 1 is 2. So this gives me 2 as my limit. Now in this problem, if we tried direct substitution, we can see that when we put 3 into this denominator, 3 minus 3 is 0, and division by 0 is undefined. So in this case, we have to try to eliminate the problem algebraically. So what we'll do then, we're still finding the limit as x approaches 3. But this trinomial can be factored. So if we factor this, put an x in both of the first spots, um, two numbers that multiply to give me a negative 15 and add to give me a positive 2 would be a positive 5 and a negative 3. So if we check and make sure we get our positive 2x, the outer product is negative 3x, the inner product is 5x. When we add those together, we do get 2x. And then the bottom is still x minus 3. But you can see now that this binomial is a factor in the numerator and in the denominator, so it'll cancel. So now I'm just finding the limit as x approaches 3 
of x plus 5. Well, direct substitution is fine on this one. When we put 3 in for x, we get 3 plus 5, which is 8.